Organizations routinely respond to environmental pressures. Now, the type of response that the organization pursues will vary based upon a number of circumstances. What is the nature of the environmental uh, pressure? How is it going to affect the organization, etc.? So in this video, I want to identify numerous approaches that organizations take to environmental pressures simply for the purposes of identifying them and different varieties of categories. So to begin with, the Environmental School of Strategy posits that strategy evolves within an organization based upon it environmental factors or pressures that affect the organization. So there are numerous means or methods that organizations use to respond to environmental pressures. And once again, these responses have the effect of adapting and thus forming organizational strategy. So in this video, we're going to identify a number of approaches to environmental factors or pressures on the organization. Now, the approach that an organization chooses will vary based upon a number of factors, the abilities of the organization, the nature of the external pressure or factor, and how that external factor will affect the organization. So first we identify acquiescence, and this simply means that the organization accepts the pressure, imitates it, complies with whatever it requires. You'll commonly see the organization doing su th such things as following common practices or taking for granted norms, um, imitating other institutional models, or, or simply being the commonly understood institutional rules or norms for how to deal with such a thing. The next would be to compromise, and this is less than acquiescence. Compromising is where you partially accede to the pressures to, to simply pacify it or you negotiate or bargain with it. So what you're doing is you're reconciling your existing understanding practices and etc. So you're balancing expectations of external stakeholders. You're reconciling or conciliating these institutional elements that might be in conflict with the external pressure. And then you're negotiating or somehow compromising internally with your stakeholders uh, to you know, so that they accept your response to the environmental pressure. Next, we have avoidance. And avoidance simply means to accept the pressure and avoid any conflict. You can conceal that from your stakeholders or third parties. You can create a buffer there where you are absorbing all of the effects of the external pressure. So uh, your internal stakeholders or external stakeholders are, are not affected. You, you might seek to escape from the pressure by following a given course of action. Generally, that has the effect of alleviating the pressure itself. Uh, generally, it's somehow in line with whatever the pressure pressure is causing, right? So you're going with the grain or going with the flow, okay? You might need to disguise any uh, non-conformity or inconformity with whatever the pressure is at large. You may be disguising that to your stakeholders to conceal that you're, you're responding to these pressures, such as competition, for example, or, or limitation of resources or something like that. So you're disguising this nonconformity. You're relaxing any institutional attachments you had to previous cultural elements or uh, strategic approaches. And sometimes it means even changing the organizational level goals, the objectives, and the, the activities or uh, systems or processes in a place to achieve the old um, organizational goals or objectives. Next, we look at defiance, and this is actively fighting against these external pressures. You might just simply turn a blind eye to it, which means you dismiss it. You might actively confront it, which means challenging it, or you might preemptively attack it to make certain that it doesn't affect the organization. So in this way, you're ignoring the external pressure, which generally takes the forms of some standards or norms or practices that others are accommodating in a way or acquiescing to. So you are actively defying those. Okay, so you're challenging whatever is expected of you. So say you take a social movement that is asking for an organization to change, whether right or wrong, the organization actively reaches out and attacks that social movement such that it doesn't need to comply with it. It's challenging these rules and requirements, okay? Thus undermining the pressure itself and alleviating the pressure on the organization. And then lastly is manipulation. And manipulation is 
an attempt to change the pressure itself. You could co-opt it over to your side such that uh, the external pressure is now brought into your fold and has some benefit there by, by reversing course or its effect. You can seek to exert power or influence in some way, and there are numerous sources of power and how that affects uh, individuals and organizations alike. You may seek to exert some level of control through your uh, control of other things such as resources or individuals, which once again is related to that influence through power. This might mean doing things such as employing or implementing influential elements that you bring in from the external environment to somehow ward off the pressure. That could be combining with other organizations, adopting key resources, or uh, somehow aligning yourself with other powerful players. It could mean shaping your values and criteria in a way that allows you to manipulate or co-opt the other side uh, the, or whatever is the source of the pressure, uh, such as if you were to somehow lobby uh, politicians who were uh, threatening a law to you, for example. Again, you're co-opting them into the organization. And then you may uh, acquire somehow uh, established dominion or control over elements or processes that are related to the external pressure. And so once again, very similar to co-opting, you're securing the resources that have the ability to control the outside uh, pressure. So you're manipulating it in that way. So these are common, well understood responses that organizations might uh, undertake in response to external or environmental pressures that are affecting the organization.